And what's been a learning year, at the very least, for rookie right guard Ed Ingram for the Minnesota Vikings? Uh, I would say that, yes, it did not start out great uh, for uh, the former LSU product, but I would say that things are starting to get better. Now, we want to put the bad first. So, yes, uh, has played a total of 11, uh, 811 snaps, excuse me, uh, has, allowed, has had four penalties and allowed eight sacks. I believe he's also allowed the most pressures in the NFL uh, among offensive linemen there and currently has a 56.4 PFF grade. And just the Looking uh, just quite at the numbers, I can get why some people would say that, yeah, it hasn't gone great. Um, but I think that this uh, is kind of turning around for Ed Ingram in the Minnesota Vikings. So uh, I really feel like you need to start with looking at, uh, particularly here, these are the highest grades um, from the Jets game. And you'll see, who look at there, number six, Ed Ingram finished the game with a 68.9 PFF grade. And, you know, if you look at the fact that, Kirk Cousins was sacked, what, twice? Uh, I, either both of those, I don't think were, uh, you know, neither one was really Ed Ingram's fault. So, you know, I think when you take that for what it is and look at how he played, I think there's a lot of uh, quad quality and positive things you got to take away from it. Excuse me, I can't talk today. But, uh, you know, I, I think that he's been uh, a very pleasant surprise uh, as of late. And to give you another idea as to why that is, uh, we're going to go to Rob uh, Surlis here. Uh, so Ed Ingram's first nine games, 10.5% uh, pressure rate allowed. His last three games, 4.3% uh, pressure rate allowed. By the way, give uh, uh, Mr. Rob A, uh, at Rob Bob 17 a follow. Uh, does great work there. So, you know, I, I think that kind of sheds a light on the fact that Ed Ingram, yes, you know, those first nine games, not great. Uh, things have not been going good for him. In fact, I mean, he got absolutely owned um, in Arizona. Like, he's continually getting uh, beaten with speed moves, with uh, bull rush, with all these different things, and it's just been rough. Um, but over the last couple of games, we have seen him look for work and make some big plays. I mean, he just continually looks around and just looks if he can just lay the wood on somebody. And really, you love that as a starting right guard in the NFL, and you hope that he can keep it going. And I think especially as we move forward here, we get uh, and play uh, some of these still, these top teams. Teams, um, that are remaining on the schedule. I think he's going to be put to a good test here. And honestly, if we have to call a spade a spade, I think he's an upgrade uh, at anything that the Vikings would have used otherwise. Like Dakota Dozier again, I... I would have lost my mind if Dakota Dozier was a starting right guard again. But overall, I mean, he's been an upgrade, and I think he's going to continually get better, especially as he moves forward in his career with the Minnesota Vikings. But uh, Ed Ingram, like I said, he's been putting it together. This offensive line as a whole has looked much better. I think that's also been a big reason as to why Garrett Bradbury has played so well this year. Honestly, we're talking about a guy um, that was uh, kind of in a situation where he probably was, is right now, or before the season, excuse me, was going to spend his last year with the Vikings. But now he's earned a contract extension, uh, or at least to be in that conversation, I would say at least $6 million a year, $7 million. Uh, and we'll kind of just see where he gets uh, from there. And honestly, the Vikings should consider paying him because he has definitely stepped up. And I think Ed Ingram has played a huge part in that. Also, you've got Ezra Cleveland on the other side of that. So this offensive line has looked majorly better. Um, you know, if this is, and quite honestly, this is probably the best Vikings offensive line we've seen at least in the last decade. So I think you got to be uh, pretty, pretty excited about it. And I think Ed Ingram is going to continue to put it together and be a very good option for the Vikings. Uh, at the, as their starting right guard. But let us know what you guys think. Make sure you guys like and subscribe down below. Leave a like and a comment. It helps people find the show. We greatly appreciate all the support that we've gotten and continue to get. You guys are all truly awesome. We love every single one of you. Down in the description below, you'll find all of our social media platforms. So give us a like and a follow there. Also remember to give us a listen and sub on iTunes. And finally, if you have anything else you'd like us to cover, send us an email at thesportsbp at yahoo.com or put it in the comment section down below and we would love to cover it. But let us know what you guys think about Ed Ingram, who's putting it together at right guard for the Minnesota Vikings.